Hello. In the previous videos, we did stoichiometry where we were concerned about the reactants, the amounts of reactants and the products formed and the relationship between them. And then we studied in the next video about the limiting reagent. The topic of this video is concentration of a solution. Reactions usually take place in a medium and that medium or in the form of a solution. And that medium is usually a liquid in which the salts are combined and they react with each other to give us a certain product. And therefore, it's very important in chemistry to know how strong or how much of the solute, the reactant, is present in the medium, which is usually the solvent. So finding out the concentration of a solution is an important part of chemistry. There are different ways of expressing the concentration of a solution. Four of these are here that we would be discussing. The mass percent, the mole fraction, molarity and molality. Let's deal with them one by one. The mass percent. As the name suggests, the mass of the solute in the entire solution, the percentage of the mass of solute in the solution would be known as its mass percent. How would you calculate it? The formula for it is that mass percent is the mass of a solute divided by the mass of the solution. I have underlined the solution because whenever we mention solution, it means it consists of both the solute and the solvent. So the mass of solute divided by mass of solution means if there is a solute and solvent, mass of solute divided by mass of solute plus solvent into 100 would give you the percentage of the mass percentage of the solute in the solution. So this is the first way of expressing the concentration of a solution. Here's a problem. You have 2 grams of solute A in 18 grams of solvent B. Find out the mass percentage of A. In order to find out the mass percentage of A, we know that the mass of A is 2 grams divided by the mass of the solution. The mass of the solution is solute is 2 and solvent is 18. So it will be 2 plus 18 grams. 2 plus 18 grams is 20 in 200, which is equal to 2 upon 20 in 200. 1, 10, 10, 10. Therefore, this is equal to 10%. So the mass percentage of solute A in solvent B would be 10%. The next way to express concentration is mole fraction. The fraction of the moles, the total number of moles that are present, what fraction of those moles is the solute or the solvent. That's another way of expressing the concentration. If the number of moles of solute is large, the solution is concentrated. If the number of moles of solution of the solute is very small, it's a weaker solution. Mole fraction is expressed by the symbol X. So, and mole fraction is again only a ratio. And since it's only a ratio, it would have no units. What's the formula for mole fraction? Mole fraction X is equal to the number of moles of a component, it may be the solute or the solvent, divided by the number of moles, total number of moles of the solution. Again, I underline the solution to emphasize that whenever it is solution, it is the sum of, the, of whatever moles or mass or whatever of the solute and the solvent. If you want to find out the mole fraction of two components, a solution has A is made up of uh, solute A and solvent B. Then if you want to find out the mole fraction of A, then you would write the number of moles of A represented by Na divided by the number of moles of A, sum of the number of moles of A and B. Similarly, if you want to find out the mole fraction of B, Xb would be equal to Nb upon Na plus Nb, where Nb is number of moles of B and Na is the number of moles of A. So let's again solve one numerical to make it clear. A solution has 1500 grams of water and 250 grams of sodium chloride. 
you are supposed to calculate x which is mole fraction of the solute and the solvent so you're supposed to find out the mole fraction of both the solute and the solvent we have been given what is mole fraction it's number of moles so the first thing that we have to do is find out the number of moles because we've been given only grams so let's calculate the number of moles how do you calculate number of moles the given mass upon molar mass gives you the number of moles 1500 grams of water what's the mass of water hydrogen is 1 1 into 2 plus 16 is 18 and what's the mass of sodium chloride NaCl sodium is 23 and chlorine is 35.5 so this would be 58.5 these are the molar masses let us find out the number of moles the number of moles of water would be how much water is given to us mass given 1500 grams upon molar mass these are all grams molar mass is 18 grams would give you the number of moles of water so the number of moles of water is 83.3 moles and what's the number of moles of NaCl what's the mass given to us 250 grams divided by the molar mass is 58.5 grams which would be equal to 4.27 moles okay you can write mol for moles so 4.27 moles of sodium chloride so how do you calculate the mole fraction the mole fraction x of water would be what is the number the mole fraction is number of moles of that substance so it will be 83.3 upon 83.3 plus 4.27 right so this would be equal to 0 0.95 and since it's a ratio there will be no units to it although all of these are moles now and mole is a number here mole fraction of sodium chloride would be equal to the mass of so uh, the number of moles of sodium is 4.27 divided by the total number of moles of solute and solvent 83.3 plus 4.27 and here the mole fraction would be equal to 0.05 so that is how we calculate the number of uh, the mole fraction of uh, a solution the mole fraction of one component in the solution whether it's the solute or the solvent the next two if you see molarity and molality they seem to be very similar in their names so let us see what is molarity and what is molality although their names are very similar and when you solve them also they seem to be very similar we understand the difference between molarity and molality molarity is the more commonly used the most commonly used form of uh, concentration expression of concentration what is molarity molarity is represented by the letter M capital letter uppercase capital M and how do we find it what is molarity molarity is the number of moles of solute present per liter of the solution it is the number of moles of solute in one liter of the solution so how do we what's the formula it's the number of moles of solute divided by the volume of the solution in liters that will give you the molarity that is the number of moles of the solute in one liter of the solution molality on the other hand there's the difference is only in one letter but it's very different from molarity molality is represented by the small letter m and it means that it is the number of moles of solute present in one kg of the solvent it is the number of moles of solute present per kg of the solvent now one liter of the solution and one kg of the solvent if you really think 
water, one kg, one liter of water is almost one kg. So it feels that there would actually be no difference between the two. But this happens only when the solvent is water, that one kg of water and one liter of water, they are almost the same. But if your solvent is different, for example, it's ethanol or it's any other, uh, it's glycerine, then your, uh, this, these two, the difference between these two becomes very apparent. Let's just understand how these solutions, if I want to make a one molar solution of sodium chloride, let's say, and molar R, uh, if I want to make one molar solution of sodium, chlor uh, sodium chloride, what would I do? We just calculated that the mass, the molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.5 grams. So what will I do? I'll weigh 58.5 grams of sodium chloride, that's common salt, and I'll take this volumetric flask, I'll put the sodium chloride into the flask and then fill it almost half with water. And this flask should have a capacity, should have a marking here for one liter. Okay? Now, if it has a marking here for one liter, I now just fill it half with, uh, with sodium chloride and I swirl it. I swirl it till all of the sodium chloride dissolves in the water. And now what do I do? I start filling more water into it and I bring it up. I bring it up to one liter, the one liter mark. So now I have one mole of solute which is present in one liter of the solution. Do you see? One liter is the solute and the solvent together. On the other hand, if it was molality, if I was supposed to prepare one molar solution of sodium chloride, I would again weigh out the same amount of sodium chloride, that is 58.5 grams, but I don't need a flask now. I can put, I can just take a beaker, weigh the beaker on a physical balance first, and then add water to it and add one kg water. After adding one kg water to a beaker or a bucket or any container, I, all I have to do, once I have 1 kg of water, I take 58.3 grams, uh, how much was it? 58.5 grams of sodium chloride and I add it to it and I just stir it or just mix it up and I get a 1 molar solution of sodium chloride. Do you see? So molarity is usually the most commonly used um, unit or sorry, the way of the expression of concentration. And molarity, on the other hand, is uh, not so commonly used, but it has its own benefits. The benefits are, one, it is easier, the solution is easier to make, you don't have to calculate the volume, you just need a weighing balance to carry out your reaction. Secondly, as temperature increases or decreases, liquids expand and contract. Therefore, the volume of the solution could change and this could change the concentration of the solution simply because of the temperature. Therefore, molarity is not actually so accurate. Although it is most commonly used, it's not so accurate because it may differ with differing temperatures. On the other hand, 1 kg of water would remain, 1 kg of the solvent would remain 1 kg, whatever be the temperature. Well, this was just the differences between molarity and molality. Remember, molarity is represented by a capital M and molality is represented by a small m. If we want to carry out a dilution, what do we do? We have a one molar solution of sodium hydroxide and it is to be diluted to 0.2 molar. One mole of sodium hydroxide is present in one liter, that is 1000 milliliters of, of water, one liter of water. That is, it, it is one molar solution. One mole means it is 58.5 grams of sodium chloride dissolved in one, one liter of uh, solution would be one molar solution. So, in other words, that one mole, 58.5 grams, one mole of sodium hydroxide is present in one liter of the solution. How much of the solution should I use in order to take out and then dilute it in order to get a solution of 0.2 molar solution? If one mole sodium hydroxide is present in 1000 milliliters, one liter is 1000 milliliters, of water of solution then 0.2 moles of NaOH would be present in how much it would be present in 1000 ml upon one mole 
into 0.2 mole. The moles get cancelled. And how much is this now? What is the volume that we'd be using? 200 ml. Do you see? So we need 200 ml of the solution to carry out the dilution. Now, 200 ml of solution we take in the flask and then fill it up with water to 1 liter to get a 0.2 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. But instead of doing this, there is a simple formula M1V1 is equal to M2V2 for dilutions. Let us just plug in these values. What was the molarity initially? 1 molar solution was M1 was 1 molar solution. V1 was 1 liter. We want to prepare M2 which is 0.2 and we want to know what is the volume of what is the volume of the uh, liquid of this solution, original solution required. So according to this, M1V1 is equal to M2V2, plug in the values, 1 molar solution into V1 is 1 liter, is 1000 ml, is 1 liter, would be equal to M2 is 0.2 molar into V2. So if you have to calculate V2, this would be bring I'm just reversing the size. 1 molar into 1000 ml upon 0.2 molar. So the molar molar cancelled and what do you get again? 200 ml. So this is the formula that you use for dilution. In the next videos and or in the subsequent two videos, we'll do practice problems of molarity and molality. Practice as much as you can. I cannot emphasize less on practice. Please do as much as you can and keep returning to my channel for more. Thank you for watching.